very first speaker tonight is Kelly Hoffer. Kelly is a very talented photographer and a Hutterite gay rights activist. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to you, Kelly. Hi there, I'm Kelly Hofer. Uh, I grew up in a Hutterite colony, obviously. Uh, I left two and a half years ago when I was 19 years old. Anyway. Yeah. Um, my four grandparents were busy people. Uh, they had 24 children, 107 grandchildren, and 60 great-grandchildren so far. My grandpa Daniel and Clara live at home. My other grandpa Zach and Sarah passed away in the past four years. What's remarkable is that I have 107 first cousins, but also none of my grandparents or parents have ever taken a living wage to support their family. When my grandpa was severely sick and my grandma caring for the children, they weren't struggling. They were always supported by their neighbors. Such is the life of a Hutterite. At age two and a half, we'd start going to Tanashul, or kindergarten as we'd call it. My aunt and other older ladies would teach us to teach us songs, prayers, decency, but mostly how to get along with each other. We learned how to live together because that's what we'd be doing for the rest of our lives. Kathy Basel was my favorite of the Kana Shule Lankele. She had a gentle sternness that was imposing, but never frightening. If something needed to be said, she'd find a precisely gentle way of stating it. Not only would she teach us to be virtuous people, but would also quash out any bad habits that we picked up from our friends. When we'd be caught swearing, we'd get our mouths cleaned out with soap. It was like having two and a half parents. Anything my family came short on, my aunt made up for it. It was in fact Hutterites that invented kindergarten over 450 years ago. My dad was my school principal, making him an overly omnipresent figure in my childhood. He focused education less on sophistication and more on community, compassion, and practicality. But with only a few teachers helping him in school, of 30 students in K-12, their attention was spread quite thin. The larger Hutterite community was suffering the same issue, so a bunch of them banded together and built a massive interactive television network to connect the colony schools. It was through that that we could employ the most talented Hutterite teachers for any subject and have them teach students all over Manitoba, North and South Dakota. The quality of education has increased greatly and is still culturally sensitive, which gives teachers like my dad the time to mentor us outside of class. All the while, the salary he makes goes back into supporting everyone in the community. We all started helping in the shops, in the 16-acre vegetable garden, and wherever our parents were working as early as five years old. We were a nuisance mostly, but our eagerness kept bringing us back. Before leaving the colony at 19, I had already worked several different jobs. I learned how to grow, pick, and process foods in the vegetable garden alongside the women. My spare time was wild away in the character shop, shop creating thingamajigs and eventually helping them build furniture. Then, for three years, I helped my uncle as an automotive electric <laughs> engineer as we built fire trucks, followed by two years as a CNC water jet operator. I was far underqualified, but learned from him, my brother, and everyone around me. Everyone expects the young people to be a hard-working community citizen, and they, have, and they invest their time to teach us. We spend our entire lives as either the apprentice or the mentor. I worked with my uncle Larry, who was the deputy minister, yet still worked among the people on a nine-to-five job. We enjoy discussing colony life, but we never, oh, sorry, um, yeah, we enjoy discussing colony life and how we could improve our society while constructing the electrical systems of fire trucks. I made many mistakes, but work, I never got fired. Instead, someone would put down their tools and take the time to teach me how to improve my work ability or my attitude if necessary. Mm -hmm. As a society, we tend to be honest and brutal, or sorry, honest and blunt. Bettering everyone else's life takes precedence over being polite. The future of the colony depends on everyone's skills and how well we get along, so problems are always addressed rather than passed on to another employer. 
I never got paid for any of the work done on the colony. It was shared equally with my neighbor Mary, suffering from severe arthritis, and the new mom on maternity leave, or my uncle, who was buying seed for that year's crop. It's a fair trade, living in a small community all our lives. The work done as a capable adult gets paid forward to when you're old, sick, or disabled. There's no Hutterites struggling to feed their family. There's an almost 0% crime rate, no inequality, and no homelessness. Everyone has all of their needs taken care of without question. Our standard of living is determined by our togetherness rather than affluence. There are very few major social issues in our culture apart from women's rights, gay rights, and freedom of expression. <laughs> As you can see, I'm deeply in love with my culture, but like a cat lover that's allergic to cats, I had to give it up. From a young age, the idea of the heteronormative couple with traditional gender roles is deeply ingrained, leaving both women and anyone of the LGBT spectrum at a societal disadvantage. Coming out of the closet, let me see Hutterites at their very worst. While one half expressed their deep disgust, the other half stayed completely quiet at a fear of being shunned for their compassion. My type of love was simply forbidden. Leaving home was easier than changing an entire culture, although I am certainly not giving up on that yet. I've been communicating with many of, my, of the still closeted Hutterites and created a small online community to give them advice or just lend an ear, which is infinitely more than I had at home. Despite these shortcomings, there are many beautiful elements of the Hutterite culture that I would love to see adapted in my current Western culture. The strong emphasis on long-term social bonding, mentorship, and compassion for each other so we grow up with good values. And then there's a special Hutterite word, Gelassenheit, which means to give yourself unconditionally. The question must never be, why should I help you? But rather, who can I help today? Thank you.